If you're in the hunt for the best fitting tees, then look no further because in this video, I'm going to be going over in detail Uniqlo's Airism tees. Today I have with me three Airism tees, one in a size small, one in a size medium, and one in a size large. So I'm going to be trying on all three sizes so you guys can see how each size fits. So if you're ordering online and you don't know what size you are, don't worry because I got you covered in this video. I'm also going to be going over the material, the comfort, basically everything you need to know to buy with confidence. So keep watching. Before we get started, to give you guys some reference, my height is 5'10", I weigh 160 pounds, my shoulders are 16 and a half inches wide, 36 inch chest, 13 inch bicep, and 29 and a half inch waist. My body type is more on the buff and muscular side, just kidding. I would consider my body to be on the leaner side. Now with that out the way, let's get started. The Uniqlo Oversized Airism Tee retails for $14.90 here in the US. It's made in Vietnam with 53% cotton and 47% polyester. In case you're not familiar, Airism material is a type of fabric that is made from industrial grade micro polyester spandex fiber. And I know what you're thinking, what the hell does that mean? Don't worry, I'm on the same boat as you. But basically, the polyester makes it very smooth on the skin, helps you stay cool, and the spandex material, it's stretchy to help maximize your movements. The shirt also have attributes that helps your body stay dry. If you're a sweaty person like me, the shirt wicks away moisture and dries fast, and also helps control odor. Because of this, the airism tee will be great for hot summers or working out. The small weighs in at 197 grams, the medium weighs in at 204 grams, and the large weighs in at 228 grams. To give you guys some idea on how this tee compares to other Uniqlo tees in terms of weight, the Uniqlo UT size small weighs in at about 225 grams and the Supima size small weighs in at 144 grams. So at 197 grams for the size small, it sits right at the middle of the pack. The shirt thickness measures to 0.68 millimeters, which is pretty standard. To give you guys some reference, the UT measures to 1 millimeters and the Supima measures to 0.38 millimeters. So just like the weight, the Airism sits right in the middle. Even though the shirt's heavier and thicker than the Supima tee, it doesn't feel that way. It feels a lot lighter than the Supima tee thanks to the Airism fabric. For the construction of this shirt, the collar features a classic ribbing. The collar thickness measures to 0.97 millimeters, which is about 0.3 millimeters thicker than the body, just to help prevent the bacon collar effect. It's a straight fit shirt from the chest all the way down to the waistline. At the hem, you see a double stitch construction that helps with durability and ultimately prevents the edge from fraying. Moving up to the sleeves, you see the double stitch just like the waistline, which is a good sign in terms of durability. At the body, you see an overlock stitch, which is standard in most shirts. It's also very stretchy. People think all t-shirts are the same, but that's not true. Little details like this really matters when you're looking for a good quality shirt. Moving on to the fit, starting off with the size small. The chest measures at 21 inches, shoulder 20 and a quarter inches, length 26 and a half inches, sleeve length 10 and a quarter inches, and sleeve opening is seven inches. This is how the size small fits on me. Because this is an oversized fit, it's very roomy all around. With a 21 inch chest opening, that's equivalent to a size large Supima Con T. The 20 and a quarter inch shoulders fall past my shoulder line. The 10 and a quarter inch sleeve length covers my entire upper arm and stops right at my elbows. The 26 and a half inch shirt length is the only thing that's not oversized. The length is about the same as the size small Uniqlo UT and Supima Con T. Because of its wide fit and normal length, I would recommend this tee for guys who are on the heavier side. The proportions are ideal for someone who's trying to cover up their belly and look a little slimmer. But if you're someone with my body type and just looking for an oversized fit, this is a very good option. Uniqlo did a great job with the proportions on this, so definitely go true to size. For comfort, this hands down one of the most comfortable shirts I've ever tried on. For an oversized tee, you would expect a lot of that fabric against your body, but it doesn't feel that way. The shirt feels so light and airy. When they say cool to the touch, they really mean it because for the couple of hours I had this shirt on, it feels cool against my body. Honestly, I thought Uniqlo was just throwing in a bunch of buzzwords in their advertising, but Arizona fabric is the real deal. 
I might just replace all my tees with Arizona because of how comfortable it is. Moving on to the fit, starting off the size medium, the chest measures to 21 and a half inches, shoulder 20 and a three quarter inches, length 27 and a quarter inches, sleeve length is 11 inches, and sleeve opening is seven and three quarter inches. This is how the size medium looks on me and first impression, it's significantly increased in sleeve and body length, but not so much in width. For the chest, the 21 and a half inch opening is too wide. As you can see, it drowns out my figure. The 27 and a quarter inch length is way too long on me. You can see how it completely drapes over my ass and crotch. The 11 inch sleeve length stops around mid elbow and a seven and three quarter inch sleeve opening is very wide. You can fit two of my arms through one sleeve hole. Uniqlo recommends a size 38 to 41 chest for the size medium. So if you weigh somewhere in this 170 to 180 pound range, or if you're looking for an oversized fit in the size medium, UT may be a good fit for you. But for me, you can clearly see that it is a bit too big on me. Just a quick message before we continue on with this video. If this video is helping out so far, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps out small content creators like myself and really encourages me to keep putting out videos like this. So don't forget to like, subscribe. Now let's get back to the video. Last but not least, we have the size large. The chest measures at 23 and a half inches, shoulder 21 and three quarter inches, length 28 and a half inches, sleeve length 11 and a quarter inches and sleeve opening is eight inches this is how the size large fits on me or in other words not fit me for the length on someone who's 510 this is way too long on me you can see how the 28 and a half inch length completely drapes over my ass and crotch is not only long but also very wide on me the 23 and a half inch chest opening completely drowns out my figure Uniqlo recommends a size large for guys with a chest size of 41 to 44 inches, which is 5 to 8 inches bigger than my chest. The 8 inch sleeve length is an inch too long on me, and the 8 inch sleeve opening is over an inch too wide for my 13 inch biceps. I know this is an oversized fit, but if you go up two sizes, it is an overkill. It reminds me of those extra large echo tees I used to rock in middle school. But anyways, use my body as your reference. Size large is too big for me, but a size large may be a good fit for you. Now here's the moment you've all been waiting for. This is how the size small, medium, and large look side by side. For the chest, you see an increase of 0.5 inches from small to medium and an increase of two inches from medium to large, which I gotta warn you, that's a big jump. For the shoulder, you see an increase of half an inch from small to medium and an increase of one inch from medium to large. For the length, there's a three quarter inch increase from small to medium and a one and a quarter inch increase from medium to large. For the sleeve length, there's three quarter inch increase from small to medium and a quarter inch increase from medium to large. For the sleeve opening, there's a three quarter inch increase from small to medium and a quarter inch increase from medium to large. To sum it all up, you definitely want to go true to size. And if you're in between sizes, then I would go down a size because I think there's a limit on how oversized you can go without looking sloppy. Overall, Uniqlo's oversized fit is done very well. And with the Arizona fabric, it makes it even better. This tee is definitely worth your money, and for the low $15 price tag, it might be the best oversized tee on the market. Also, if you're a size extra small or extra large, I found the size chart with the chest size recommendation to be fairly accurate, so use that and also my video to your advantage and use your best judgment. And that's it for this week's video. If you're interested in a size guide for other Uniqlo tees, then click the playlist right here. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.